Hi, I'm David, your developer on Duty, and in this video we're gonna see what's new in Helix 22.12. Right off the bat, it comes with a pretty cool logo. In general, I'm quite happy about the visual branding of Helix. First, the nice looking and recognizable purple color scheme, and now a beautiful logo. One new feature is the git diff gutter, which lets you track the changes compared to your local index. For example, if we add a line, then we can see this green bar. If we change something, then we can see this purple line. And if we delete a line, you can see the red bar. You can jump around using square bracket G. This feature is enabled by default. If your terminal supports it, you can have different underline styles, for example, curly lines. It depends on the theme if it's enabled or not, but you can also use theme inheritance to change that. Helix can now automatically save your file when you focus a new window. So let's change something here. So I'm not saving it manually. I switch to a new window and switch back and you can see the file was saved. You can enable this feature by writing editor autosave equals to true. As you know, Helix makes heavy use of multiple selection and now also code completion works for them. Let's try it out. And you can see it worked. You can now have a buffer line and for example, set it to always. Then you get this little bar on top showing all your buffers. So let's open another file, foo.js, and you can see both files in this line. You can configure it using buffer line, and you can, for example, set it to always. Also under the hood, there have been many improvements. For example, when you write files, the code path has been overhauled, which fixes a number of edge cases, especially when you write large files or when there are failures to write. The performance for trees that are passing and querying has been improved as well as the handling of injections. And especially for markdown files, you will notice a, a huge speed boost because it uses injections extensively. In the area of the language server protocol, the failure handling has been improved and it can now gracefully handle um, cases, for example, when the language server is not able to support capabilities or if there are unexpected, unexpected language server crashes. For the reload command, it has been improved both in speed and memory usage, which uh, mainly comes from the creation of Imara diff, uh, which is a diffing implementation, which is even faster the, than the one Git uses. And that's not all. To see the full list of changes, you can head over to the changelogmd file of the Git repository and see a list of everything. Uh, the list is quite extensive and there have been 99 contributors for this release, which is quite remarkable. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please post in the comments what your favorite feature is. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.